Captains. We thought we might share some things that we are working on while we are not with you. So I thought I would start by sharing that I am working on a diet, but my plate is too full. So my friends recommended that I look at a diet of peanuts, walnuts, pistachios, but that's just nuts. So we thought we might share some love and some laughter and some good jokes with you while we're apart. So here goes. How do you stay warm in any room? Move to the corner. It's always 90 degrees. Enjoy, Captains. Hi, Captains. Mrs. Workman, one of your assistant principals. I got some jokes for you all about food. As you know, we're going home to the grocery store, cooking, making all kinds of meals. So all my jokes pertain to food, which is one of our favorite things to do is cook and eat. So my first joke is, when is eating just like school? When you have three or four courses. <laughs> That'd be my daughter who finds me extremely hilarious. My next joke, why are chefs so harsh? They're always beating eggs. <laughs> What's the best food to eat before workout? Muscles. <laughs> so speaking of workout, I had to take a run this morning because all this eating has made my clothes a little tight. So I gotta keep working out. What's the most relaxing type of pasta? Spaghetti. <laughs> what part of a meal makes you the most sleepy? The napkin. <laughs> How do you truly savor a hot dog? With relish. <laughs> Speaking of relish, hopefully you're relishing this time with your family. One thing we're doing as a family is we've turned off the news so that we're not worried about what's going on out there, but we're keeping each other safe and healthy, just like I hope you're doing right now, keeping each other safe and healthy. Bye, Captains. Hello, wonderful students. This is Predator and Miss Snow here to tell you one of the worst social studies jokes ever. So the joke is, who is the leader of the Kitty Communist Party? Do you know Pred? The answer is, Chairman Meow, get it? <laughs> I miss you, wonderful students. Hey everybody, hopefully you are surviving quarantine. Uh, here's my dad joke for the week. Uh, why did Tigger and Eeyore have their heads in the toilet? Because they were looking for poo. Stay safe, wash your hands. Good morning, Kettering Captains. This is Mrs. Harness checking in to see how you're doing. Um, hope you're all tucked in and at least reading and doing what you need to do. Uh, think about you and I miss you. Here's a couple of jokes for you. One is just a, an average joke. Uh, what did people do before the invention of sandpaper? They roughed it. And the second one is for all my singers out there. See if this makes sense to you. How, do you, how can you tell when a singer is at the door? They can't find the key and they don't know when to come in. Take care, my dears, and uh, we'll talk soon. Love you. Bye. Oh, hey, everybody. It's Mr. Miller. Hope you're doing all right. Been trying to get outside a little bit. Been uh, out here for 20 minutes now, looking up at these trees. I've been seeing squirrels and birds and got to thinking, why don't I ever see elephants hiding in trees? And then I realized it's because they're really good at it. Hi everybody, Jax and I have a little joke for you today. Why don't snowmen want to eat the carrot cake? Because they're afraid it had butters in it. Get it? <laughs> uh oh. Captains, a bird walks into a restaurant and asks the waiter, got any bread? Waiter says, no. Got any bread? No. Got any bread? No, and if you ask me again, I'll nail your beak to the table. Got any nails? No. Got any bread? I have two jokes for you all. The first one is, what's a man's favorite tree? Jam it tree. <laughs> the second one is, what's a man's favorite season? Summer. <laughs> Thank you. 
When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. Hey Captains, Mrs. Abrams here with the best dad joke ever. Where did Napoleon keep his armies? You guessed it, in his sleeveys. Stay safe, everybody. Miss Ready you. For a dad hey, Captains, joke. Mrs. Warren here. Ethan, Kyle, Jacob, Ethan. Chauncey. All right, here's my dad joke. Everybody ready? So, the other day my Microsoft Office was stolen, so I have a message for the thief. I'm gonna get you. You have my word. <laughs> so, I was asked to tell a joke to you all, uh, but due to being in quarantine here, um, I'm only telling inside jokes right now. Hi, Captains. It's Miss Farah, Reese, and Marin. We have a joke for you. Which type of shoes does Captain Hook avoid wearing? Crocs. Hi, Captains. It's Mrs. Werner here with my joke. Why did Ivan Pavlov have such soft hair? Classical conditioning, of course. Stay safe, stay healthy, miss all of you, and hope to see you soon. Um, have you heard about the superhero with a lisp? That always works out. He's Thor. <laughs> what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Nope. Who built King Arthur's round table? Who? Circumference. Hello, everyone. This is Mrs. Shewitt checking in with some dad jokes. Um, first one I have is, what do you call somebody with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. <laughs> And then the second one I have is, um, did you guys hear about the circus that caught fire? It was intense. <laughs> Hello everyone. I sure miss you guys and I hope you're doing well. But I have a great joke for you. Why did Van Gogh become a painter? Because he didn't have an ear for music. But um boom Hope to see you soon. What do you call a chicken? who counts her eggs. <laughs> I'm not my chicken. <laughs> hey, Captains. This is Mr. Cocaine with a dad joke for you. Why was the robot angry? Because someone was always pushing its buttons. Have a great day, Captains. Hello, Waterford Kettering. Here is your joke to hopefully cheer you up. Did you guys know that the first French fries were not made in France? I didn't know that. Really? Where were they made? They were made in Greece. Ha ha ha. Be well, everybody. Hi, Captains. I miss you. Here's your joke. Why didn't the rooster go on the roller coaster? He was chicken. See you guys soon. Hi. This is Mr. Warwick with some of his famous jokes. What do you call a bear without any teeth? A gummy bear. So funny, so funny, I know. Uh, next, what did the drummer call his twin daughters? And a one, and a two. Woo! <laughs> keep studying, keep your minds busy. Thank you. My friends keep saying, cheer up, man. It could be worse. You could be stuck underground in a hole full of water. <sighs> I know he means well. So, I heard of two new students looking for a music class. When I asked what their names were, it was Anda 1 and Anda 2. Good afternoon, everyone. I hopefully everyone's staying safe, staying well. Um, so, here's my dad joke. Ready for this? All right. So, why don't crabs give to charity? because they're shellfish. All right, I hope everyone stays well. So I don't have just one dad joke, I've got two for you. You ready? And actually these are conductor jokes since I'm a band director. I feel like those would be pretty appropriate to do. Here's the first one. Did you hear about the band director who got zapped by electricity? Yep, he must have been a good conductor. Oh, forgot about. Had to get the laugh track in there. And here's number two. 
How many conductors does it take to change a light bulb? Well, probably only one, but who's really watching him anyway? So anyway, you guys stay safe, stay well, and keep engaged, keep your mind engaged, keep your body active, and we'll get through this. Hi everybody, Mrs. Potterfield here with some funny dad jokes that I actually grew up with. Um, I did talk to my dad and he reminded me that he is an audiologist, which is a doctor of ears. And he used to tell some associated jokes with that. Here are a couple of my favorites. What do you call bears without ears? B. Again. And then this classic, a man walks into his audiologist and his doctor asks him, how is your new hearing aid working? And he says, great doctor, I've already changed my will three times. Yeah, you may need to think about that one for a second as well. Stay safe, everybody.